coming up Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love, this is all we got Show me life, show me love, this is all we got Show me love, show me love Good morning. The time is 6.30 and we've arrived in Norway. Just turning round. That's where we've sailed. That's where we came in from there. And now we're doing a full turn around. Probably to head back out of that way. Correct. There are the little houses everybody talks about. Good morning and welcome to day three. Today we are in Stavanger, just there. It's a beautiful little place. We're gonna go and explore it. But first we've had breakfast ordered and it's been delivered to the room because it'll be manic at the buffet today. Um, so we're gonna have a nice leisurely breakfast on the balcony, look out and then we're gonna disembark. I think that's the right term. It just smells like fish. It's very harbory, very harbory. And there's quite a few wasps. It's, um, it reminds me of the Bridlington Bell. Stavanger welcomes everybody. Yes, Stavanger welcomes everybody, uh, which is nice to see, because we went to France in June um, for 10 days, Northern France, Southern France, Eastern France, and I didn't see one pride flag. And that was in the month of June, which is Pride Month. So that just says a lot about France. This says a lot about Norway. Um, so Norway welcomes the gays, um, which will be good because on this boat, we've only ever done two cruises before. Um, but the, these two cruises that we've been on, there's always a cackle of gays. Like, they're like herds. Yeah. They all go round together, do everything together. Like... In the crow's nest, they all they all welcomed each other with "Hi, girls! Hi, girls! Hi, hi!" And I'm like, <laughs> "No, thank you, thank you." Do you want to join the the gay cackle? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yes, please. Absolutely not. Yes, please. It would appear somebody's been doing some donuts with Stephen. 
in his BMW. Breakfast ready. <laughs> that looks lovely. So Breakfast. we've got, what's in here? Why would, why would we have milk? For what? Milk. Oh, I think it's because they've got granola. Uh, so we've got, take that off, what have we got? We've got a selection of jams. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. Muffins, croissant, Very good. chocolate. Let's move on down. That's, I mean, this looks beautiful, doesn't it? Ooh. That's not, that's not granola. That looks like that's dust. <laughs> croissant or muesli? <laughs> that might be going down the toilet. Croissant or muesli? I'm blocking up their delicate system. Ugh, yeah. That looks vile. Oh, no, I'm going to have that. I'm good for you. You can have two portions. I'll have your muffins. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll have your muffins. <laughs> it's not celebration evening. I am enjoying my granola, my orange... And this lovely view. What a time to be alive. It's a beautiful day in Stavanger. It is really hot. They're all wearing coats. I told them I wouldn't layer up that much. Look at them, layered. It must be Pride Weekend. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, was Stavanger. And now we are going to go to the pool because everybody has gone on off the ship. Here. Off the ship, coaches. So we're going to go to the pool and just relax. And we're going to have to get smashed on some beer, some mucky beer. Well, I'm having a beer anyway. It's my holiday. Okay. How are you liking it in the whirlpool? Beautiful. King of the castle, king of the castle. <laughs> king of the castle, king of the castle. I heard another bloke saying, there's a whirlpool there, so I just popped my head up on my neck. <laughs> and then he went. <laughs> Stop swearing, we don't swear on this channel well, anymore. Forget. We'll bleep it out. I can be humorous without the foul language. It's nice though, isn't it? Yeah, it is good. So we're on deck 18, which is the Pan Panorama deck. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, you can tell it's so quiet because we're in Stavanger, most people. To be fair, but some people still get off as we were coming back on. I think we've already alluded to the fact that it's catch-22 because you're at port and actually people want to get off and see things and do things. They've got shore excursions and we've got a couple of excursions coming up in a few other ports, but we've just thought we'd just take advantage of the ship being quiet and just get into the whirlpool and the sunshine and the weather today is fantastic. It's not just that as well. We said it's to Bangor, we're just going to have a walk around anyway, so we never booked any excursions. But in all fairness, most of the shops are just cafes and souvenir shops and not being tight. But we need to go because we're bubbling. Yeah. Every Sorry. day I'm bubbling. What I would say is you might need to get something for your nose because it's very sulfury in Stavanger. Stinky Stavanger. It smells like Trump. And he smelt it before me, but his nose is miles bigger than mine, so. This is our first time in the Keys, but Stephen's already eaten it before we even had a chance to try it. Chicken capsule curry. Six and a half out of ten. Six and a half. I went for the spicy pork and a side salad. And Janet and Jeff have gone for fish and chips. Although I'd use the word chips loosely because it's got it's got a quarter of a basket full. Fish and chip. Fish and chip, yeah. yes, that's right. But how is the fish and chip? Mm. Good. I'm yeah. off for dessert. Stephen's been for dessert. That looks nice. Custard it. Let's try it. Get tucked in, lad. Mm -hmm. Strawberry trifle's nice. Oh, I don't like trifle, but that looks one. good. I've got a look inside. Yeah, it's like blue. Oh, is it? Is it just all the same? Yeah. Mm. Very good. This pork is probably the best meal I've had whilst I've been on here. That's like when I come night. That's best, you've had. This food, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody says that. Everybody says it. What they got like something in them like mint or anything, there? I don't know, Jamie. They just taste so nice. Marrow fat. Stephen, oh my goodness me. Janet, how's your fish? Lovely. Lovely. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's high praise from Janet. Jesus. We've never seen anybody use this space. Oh now. And there's six is there six of them. One, two, two three, six, six yeah. You can see that. So this is the queue for the bar, which has been much of a theme throughout look people waiting around for drinks. One man behind the bar with a face like he'd rather not be here. Good evening. So today we've gone to Stavanger, which was good. Uh, we had a go in the Whirlpool, which you would have seen. We went to the Beach Coma. Um, drink service in there was very, very slow. Dreadful. As you would have seen. Um, and then a woman brought kids in there, even though it's adult only. And then I mem I attracted the attention of a p and um, employee. I made them aware that obviously it's an adult only space um, and I showed him, obviously this woman had brought two children in and he walked over and walked straight past her <laughs> and didn't say anything. So I just think if you're going to try and enforce a rule of an adult only space, then we need to make sure that is adult only space because that's where people want to go. I'm sure if I started splashing around the splash pads pad with all the kiddies, well, first of all, I'd be arrested, but uh, you know, I'm sure they tell me to get out. But anyway, overall, P&O, at the moment in time, I don't think we'd P&O again. Um, that could change over the next few days. I'm quite fickle like that. Um, but 
service is slow, especially for drinks in the bar. I know other other vloggers have mentioned that and spoke about that. Um, service is slow. The food, I honestly haven't had a great meal so far. It's been good. It's been average. But I think the best thing I've eaten actually was this spicy pork dish from the Keys today, which is probably the most tastiest thing I've had since I've been here, but I've not been blown away by the food. Anything to add to that, Stephen? I enjoyed Keel and Cow, really nice. I thought Epicurean was all right. A rice and buffet, I think, were absolutely disgusting. Beef were like leather, to be fair. I think if you're on a cruise and you've got the chance to go into main restaurants, just do that. I think it was very limited today. When we yeah. went for lunch, it was pasta and a red sauce, Carvery dinner and roast potatoes. I've never seen roast potatoes mm. look as big in my entire life. Oh, they were pale. actually a jacket potato peeled. But pale. Um, and then there was a, there's a, a load of women in there asking the chef, do you do cabbage? Do you do cabbage or carrots? And I'm thinking, he's not stupid. We're talking to that line. just went, no, madam, we don't. No carrots, no cabbage. God, honestly, these seven women from down south in the in the early sixties had the matching handbags, rucksacks, t shirts, and they all had the same meal. Like every single one of them had exactly the same carvery beef dinner with no cabbage and no carrots. Anyway, we're off down to Olive Grove because we've got a reservation at quarter past four that couldn't be changed. So we're going a little bit casual tonight because we haven't we haven't even set sail, and it's really hot today. So it's going to be hot. But and <laughs> so then, I put a wool shirt on. I did tell him. I did tell him. First time he moans that he's hot. Ah. Um, and then we did have Greatest Days booked for tonight in the theatre, but it's been cancelled and moved to a different day. So we're going to try and get a seat in the clubhouse. However, last night you couldn't get a seat in the clubhouse at all. In fact, last night's clubhouse reminded me of a working men's club from the 80s. <laughs> Honestly, the dancing, everything about it was working men's club 1980s and, and I'm was. here for it. You're all um, a number in the one book. You're more than a one night stand. No. I know that woman were dancing with a short skirt and I nearly saw a snatch. I'll anyway, all this. let's go. You're more than a number in my little web book. You're more than a one night stand. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, working men's club 1982. So we're now seated in the Olive Grove, which is not very busy, but they're fully booked. It is quarter past four. Yeah, it is quarter past four. It's lovely, actually. When I walked in, thought, actually, this is a beautiful restaurant. I had a look and I thought, this is beautiful. <laughs> Stop, don't take the mick. It's not becoming of you. So we've just chosen our, our drinks to do a nice French Provence deluxe. Very nice. And then I suppose we need to start thinking about what we're going to eat, Stephen. I know I want to talk about the Italian <laughs> antipasti, but because I've discovered I like olives now. He thinks he's cultured. And Jamie's jealous because he'd like to like olives, but he doesn't. Just like he'd like to like whiskey, but he doesn't. So it, it's been ten minutes since we've been in at this table. It's still not being cleared. Let's see how long it will take. How's your wine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Cheers, darling. Thank you. Uh, no, no, I think we're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those plates are boiling. Oh, it's the antipasti. Look very good. And um, twenty minutes still not clear. What have you tried so far, Stephen? Artichoke. What was that like? Quite earthy. Earthy? Nice one. Mm. 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 A very cultured with my palate. <laughs> Salted. 
being emptied 30 minutes later. Is that your lasagna, Stephen? Yeah. That looks really good, apart from the rocket, which is fine. Mm. Jeff's got two blocks of meat. So again, so in front of him. Sounds grand, doesn't it? Two blocks of meat, swinging. What do you go for, Janet? You go for a lamb tagine? Yeah. That's lamb twice. That's two nights in a row, lamb for you. I know it is. Yeah. But last night it didn't taste like lamb at all. Oh, right. What did it taste of? I don't know. <laughs> Not the right one. Oh. And I'm going boring. Carbonara. But the parmesan and truffle oils. So after your lasagna, Stephen, what is what is the verdict? Eight point five. Oh, that's very good. That is. Here's a good one. It's very nice. What about your hanging meat? Definitely an eight. An eight? What about your lamb to Jean, Jan? That's a nine. Nine? Oh, oh high price. A good nine. That is high price. So my carbonara. The bacon bits were nice, but lacked any depth of flavour, so it's probably a six at best. Yeah, and the parmesan and truffle oil fries didn't have any truffle on them, and there was just a blob of cheese on top, so they were a bit crap. I won't waste you one pound fifty. Yeah, doing well me with food. That baklava looks nice, Janet, doesn't it? Look at the selection of the clown. Delicious. Jeff's got the same as me. Which is Sicilian. Jeff's having a little half of now. Is it? And Stephen's got a chocolate cake, which doesn't look as big as we've seen it before, but oh, actually, it does. It looks lovely. Mm -hmm. Things never look as big in real life, do they? It's good to know. Is that nice? It's flour. Oh, can you? What is it taste? Is it tasteless as well? <laughs> it's like got no crumb structure to it. Oh. My Sicilian lemon tart actually was really good. I enjoyed that. I had to swap my ice cream there with Stephen because the ice cream that comes with Sicilian it tasted like your grandma's panty drawer. You know, because she had like lavender lines in it. <laughs> <laughs> Champing on the ground, Joe chilling his nana's knickers. <laughs> so I went for the vanilla one, but everybody else loved the lavender ice cream, but not for me. She loved the baklava, the whole dinner. Still chewing it as a spade. And Jeffrey. And Jeffrey enjoyed his tarts, didn't you? I mean, I quite clearly enjoy mine because it's another empty plate, so. <laughs> Tonight, let's go to the clubhouse. Let's see if. Um... Chubby Brown's in town. Chubby? What's that song you said? Alice. Alice? Ooh, the egg is Alice. It's not swearing today. We've moved into the clubhouse. It's busy. It's busy. It's chocolate tonight. Well, that didn't quite go to plan. I thought we'll sit next to the window. We kept it sat here so we could see out at window. Oh. Thank you. 
Thank you for watching our day in Stavanger. It was a good day. The silent disco was ooh, 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 awesome. I really, really, really enjoyed myself. Did you enjoy yourself at silent disco, Stephen? Oh, yes. I loved it. I thought it was great. Blue Channel all the way. Woo! My singing is dreadful. <laughs> Anyway, tomorrow we're in Alden. Catch us then. Show me love.